Hi everyone, I'd like to share with you a project for the piece by piece. Um, here I created a picture stand using some AccuCut craft clear sheets. It's a .007 and it comes in 8.5 by 11 sheets, either in a pack of 25 or 50. And basically I cut it in a 6 by 6 size. And on the top here I use the Tim Holtz on the edge plaque die. And then for the back, again I use the clear sheets and I use the Tim Holtz small easel die. And then for the paper collection, I used my mind's eye lost and found Madison Avenue collection. Really gorgeous papers. I really love the colors and I really like the dress form. And so I took one of the design papers and I cut it to four and three quarters by four and three quarters. Then I distressed it with my edging tool and then distressed it with a frayed burlap. I took another one of the design papers, the one that had the dress form in the sewing machine and I use the Spellbinders curved rectangles die. Distress that again with a frayed burlap and then I added some dimensionals um, underneath. For the top here I use the design paper. I really love the little mini pink polka dots and I use the Tim Holtz tattered banner die and then I distress that with a frayed burlap. Then I stamped using my sewing stamp uh, from Joann's. I'm using the Stampin' Up! Chocolate Chip ink and it's a sewing men's the sole. And then for these butterflies I took some burlap fabric and I um, covered it with some of that stiffener and then I used the Tim Holtz Butterfly uh, Movers and Shapers set and then I added some resin uh, mini roses from Recollections in the center. And then these are Bev's gorgeous trims um, which are available at our Etsy and I'll have her link down below so please be sure to check out the piece by piece love this um, pink lace so I first layered this onto the design paper first and then I took this really beautiful cre uh, cream trim um, which I don't have another piece to show you this is actually my last piece right here and I love it I use it so much and then I layered over that with this beautiful um, brown trim and this is stretchy material so really neat and then it's a nice deep um, chocolate uh, brown really pretty and then I added one of Bev's beautiful flowers and it, she sells these in a pack of six and then I added a wooden spool for my center and then I wrapped some of this beautiful trim around it and Bev carries these in different colors and I love how it's intertwined with some velvet trim. Super pretty. And then I added some I Am Roses leaves. And another project that I created were these fabric envelopes. Really had fun making this. Um, basically, this is Bev's muslin bags that she carries on her Etsy. So I used this bag, and then I used some of this stiff material that she also carries. And let me show you the bag first. I added some of, again, the beautiful pink trim and some more Bev's trim. And then it opens like that. And then I add a Velcro here. And then I used her um, really pretty fabric that she sells in a 6x6 square piece. And then I used the Tim Holtz butterfly um, die and then added another resin flower. And I love that it makes the shape of the envelope. So how I created that was I took the muslin bag and basically cut a piece of this stiff material and placed it right here. You can put it inside the bag if you want um, but I just hot glued it right here because you can't really see it unless of course you know you go down and look like there and then you could see it. Um, and then so I hot glued that down here then I folded it up like so hot glued the sides and then I took this part of the bag and I gathered it all the way I pulled the string all the way and then I tied a knot three times and then I took to hide the knot I took this end and then I took this end and then I just hot glued it together that way it hides the um, little string knot there and then it just flips down like so and it creates a little envelope and then you can add Bev's gorgeous trims on the envelope. You can even create this to a little purse if you'd like. You can add some pearls around here and create a little purse. 
You can add these to your layouts, um, give this as a little uh, favor. So many things that you could do with this fabric envelope. And I love how it gathers up here, especially is my favorite part. And so again, you can get these beautiful trims and these muslin bag and stiff material and flowers um, at Bev's Etsy. So thanks everyone for watching. Bye.